Okay, uh, it's Josh again, and in this uh, Get Response bonus training, I'm going to show you how I integrate Get Response with lead pages. Okay, there's a very specific way that I do it because if you do it with the Get Response API and lead pages, by default, it's going to do the double confirm, and we do not want that. We do not want that. So, uh, what we're going to do is we'll start with uh, creating a lead pages page. Excuse me. I've been recording a lot of video today, so my throat's getting hoarse. So we'll, we'll choose a template. Actually, I'm sorry. Before we choose a template, there's something you need to do under my account. So you need to go to my account and then click on integrations. And then you want to uh, activate Office Autopilot. Now, listen carefully. You do not need to have Office Autopilot to do this. I'll show you why we're doing this in a minute, but don't worry, you don't have to buy Office Autopilot. It's expensive, you do not need it. But I'll show you what you do. So you click on that, and you're going to turn on Allow Copy Paste, and you're going to leave these blank, and you're gonna click Save Office Autopilot Account Information. That's it, okay? So turn this to on, leave these blank, click Save Office Autopilot account information okay now we're gonna go and choose a template okay so we'll uh, we'll click on templates and then we'll click on opt-in pages and let's do I like this the simple pages personally let's go ahead we're gonna choose a really really simple one okay and again, this is for example demonstration purposes anyway. Now, in here, uh, so one thing I'll actually, uh, you know what, I'll, I will show you this real quick. Is that uh, when you click on templates and you click on opt-in pages, notice uh, some of them have watch tutorials. Okay. So there are some of them have tutorials on how you can create the page. Not all of them do, uh, but here's what I would recommend: just play with it, right? If you click on this, look, you can up, you can you can change the the text. If you click on this, you can change the text. You can even hide it if you want. If you click on this, you can change what the button says. If you click on this, you can change what that says. If you click on this, you can hide it, hide it. Okay, you know, click on this. This is a test, you know. Okay. That kind of stuff, right? Real simple. But here's how we integrate get response so that when we have a page that we've created and the people opt in, they will go into the campaign, the list that we've created, and again, they'll get the follow-up sequences that we've created for that list or that campaign. Okay? So let's go back over to get response. We're going to go web forms, create new, or if you've already created a web form, you don't need to create new. Um, but in fact, because we walk through this process in the video, I believe above, what I'm going to do is, uh, we're just going to go to the end, right? So we, you know, we start with the design, we turn off the name field, we go next step, we make sure that we set a custom thank you page, right? And put the URL of where we want people to go after they've opted in, right? Uh, this is like an example of my preferred method for my team. Or you can send them right to a video sales letter if you choose. And then we're going to go to publish. Now, if you remember, with Empower Network and even with Prosperity Team and some of the iPads 2 stuff as well, we need this web form ID. A little different for lead pages. We're going to click on show HTML code. And we're going to copy all of this. Okay, so I've got that copied. We're going to go back over to lead pages. And where we see opt-in form integration, incidentally, where this shows up does vary by uh, template. Okay, but they all say something along these lines. You know, opt-in form integration. We're going to click on this. We're going to select integration, right? 
We're going to ignore get response. We're going to use Office Autopilot. So I'm going to click on Office Autopilot and it says insert, insert form embed HTML code and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paste it right there and I'm going to click OK. And now what will happen is if we give this a name, you know, test page and we save this, uh, test page 2, <laughs> save this and it's saved and we go publish we have this capture page that now if we were to test it and incidentally this is important and I need to what's going on here um, copy paste okay uh, incidentally you should always test anytime you're doing any of these integrations that I'm showing you within power with prosperity team uh, with uh, iPads 2, any of them, you should always test these, okay? Uh, but when I would, or if I enter my email here and I click the get instant access, that lead is going to go into my get response. It's going to go to the thank you page that I've created and told it to send to in the settings here, and it's going to get any follow-up email sequence that I send. I hope that makes sense. Of course, if you have any questions, let me know. But that's how we integrate, how I and how I recommend my team integrate GetResponse with lead pages.